Not another one of those, you all cry. Yes, this time it's the Team Minicom. So we've done the Albrecht 6110. We've done the CRT-1. I think there's another one which we've got somewhere, which is the Anytone something or other, but I've misplaced it. So we'll have a look at the team. This is the same kind of design as the CRT version. If you remember the Albrecht has got the bigger display with the S meter on it. It's got the same mic when I remove it from its bag. So we'll see how this one performs. Right, so I've connected it up to the test equipment, we'll switch it on, and it says DE09, well that must be uh, its uh, default, so switch it off, hold the AF button, switch it on, and hopefully we can, using the up down on the mic, go into UK, which is there, switch it off, and when we switch it on again, hopefully it's in the memory, and it is, so we're on UK. And we're going to want channel 20, so we'll just uh, pop it on channel 20. I've noticed something straight away on this. I mentioned on the Albrecht and on the CRT that the printed circuit board number, and I'll just zoom in on that for you. Is two o one four o. I'm looking off the video monitor here. Nine one five. Now on the CRT one, and on the Albrecht it was two o one four triple one eight, and the identification number at the bottom there, wherever it's gone. Hmm, can't spot that. Anyway, it was 1506 on the CRT one. It was a different number on the Albrecht, which I didn't note. I'll just uh, find out where it is and get back to you. There it is, 1441 on this one. So we had green solder screen on the CRT. We had red solder screen on the Albrecht. And we're back to the green solder screen on this T model. I'm going to put it into transmit. Now we managed to get four watts out of the CRT. We got three and a half watts out of the Albrecht. So we'll see what we can achieve on this one. Straight out of the box, it is doing exactly two watts. So the second control down is power. And we're on three and a half watts. So just check. Yeah. So like the outbreak, it's three and a half. And I've said before, this is on a commercial test instrument. It may well be that if you put this on a CB type of power meter, it's now reading six or seven. So and it makes so little difference. The difference between two and a half watts and and four watts is so negligible. Uh, when you actually start looking at it in decibels and what that's going to achieve in real range. So we've done that. The other thing we had on the Albrecht is the deviation on FM as it came out of the box was only 0 0.5 and that would have had to have been sent back as faulty because uh, it needs to be 2.2 to 2.5 but a lot of these new radios come out at only 1.5 so they're a bit quiet without altering that. So we'll just go into that on the test set switch a little oscillator on we've got and it's the preset just between the wiring there. there there is one I can assure you a 
quick whistle check just to make sure that my instrument's right. And there we have it, 2.2 .2 to 2.5 on the deviation. So it's come out there again at 1.4, which is a bit quiet. So once again, there's only three adjustments on this type of set. AM modulation, which we're not going to be touching, we're not interested in that at all, um, because we're on UK FM um, power and the FM deviation. There are no further adjustments. There's not really anything further to tell you on the, on the transmit side. On here, it's got a TX thing on the display, which tells you when we're in. You see that's coming up TX. RF gain, squelch, AM, FM if you were wanting to know that. An emergency mode goes to 9 through 19, back to the channel you were on. So we'll see what I can tell you about it on the receive side.